Hey guys, what is going on? So welcome to the channel, welcome to my new subs. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the car, what we're doing with it. Uh, we're gonna go for a cruise, let you guys uh, hear it. And then uh, talk about the new clutch that was installed, the Lethal Weapon 525 Street Fighter that denotes, 525 denotes um, the torque, the max torque. So um, it's for a full NA build. You could probably do it with a small supercharger. It's a single disc Cavalier. But let me start the car because I'm burning up in here. Um, we're going to do a cold start. And then, um, yeah, we're going to talk about a little bit journey we did the other day. We did get some codes, but I was warned that um, because of the, um, they did the IDS on the clutch change and the keep alive memory. That's the cam. And they said I might get a few codes. And I did. One wasn't even in the database. So. All right, scanner's plugged in. She is processing. We got one DTC in, read codes. So P219, um, I think it could be part of the relearning uh, when they, uh, they did do a uh, crank relearn and a cam memory. Um, and this is a code, um, so it's an air fuel and balance monitor. It apparently detects an imbalance in the air fuel ratio, which is really, really strange. Um, so maybe again, I was told the car is going to do a little bit of relearning. So maybe it's going through that cycle. We're going to go back and erase this code and, uh, we'll continue our journey and then we'll see if it pops up again. It wasn't a misfire code, so that's positive. So. Okay, we're cleared. We'll be back on our we'll way. We'll get the cold start and uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep things rolling. MBRP exhaust on the back, long two headers, X-pipe, three inch X-pipe, all Dynatec stuff. So car sounds really good. Right now the side pipes are corked off or the restrictors are, I should say, are on. It's got to be fully seated. Um, so we do have a warranty on it. I did get a warranty for $59. I mentioned that um, I think in my last video. But um, all in all, let's get the car rolling. And then, um, by the way, we are um, adding a new vehicle to the channel. So, hey guys, we're looking at this beautiful 2022 workhorse 6.4 Hemi Tradesman. 2500 heavy duty great price in stock complete tow package what we need 
Snow Chief package. Billet silver. Goes down the road, beautiful. You gotta love those Hemis. Eco boost we were looking at, none of them are in stock, but this is gonna pull the fifth wheel much better down the road. Much better. Let me know your thoughts. We'll be driving home in this beauty soon. My tow vehicle, and uh, it's gonna be around capability. I'm super excited about that, and uh, that's where we're going right now to uh, close that deal. So, uh, we're going to talk about the clutch, and I have to remind myself, when the side pipes are open and the pipes are on, um, you really hear more motor than you do the trans. Now you hear more trans, you hear a lot of the caliber. super slow it will ease out nicely without a stall um, and uh, when I did my first clutch change I also did the one piece drive shaft so the whole time when I was getting this low RPM lugging during cruising you get that bump 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 noise I was blaming the dry shaft. Well, it's not. It was the clutch. I don't get that now with this single disc clutch. So, um, yay for that, right? And that's a, a big score there. So, overall, I am liking this clutch a lot. One of the other mods we did on the car, and we did it in the last moment, was a Petters uh, suspension bushing. was just an overkill and um, 
yeah, we got, you know, just an overall, overall better tire. Now the weight though, the weight is, is not as much as the Sport Cup, but um, it's three pounds more. I'm okay with that. Um, so we're at 28 pounds for tire weight. Now overall reduced weight over the Ford Stars, the 20 inch Ford Stars and the big 295 inch tires are about 10 pounds. I did go with 285, 35 to stock tire size and the reason it gets us back to our rear gear uh, final drive ratio which is a 373 with a taller tire and actually put us at a I think a 358 gear ratio and um, we'll show you that gear ratio calculator I did a calculation uh, by ratio on the difference between the tire and, and, and we're talking about what does that do to your uh, uh, rear gear or whatever? It just gets you back to where you, you were. Factory, 19 inch tires, uh, 27 inch tall, 373 gear. And what that means is your, your dry shaft will rotate 3.73 times per one revolution of the wheel. And that's how you get torque out of a lower gear. If it's a 411, it's gonna move 4.1 times for one revolution. So anyways, this car should wake up a little bit on the street for just having some fun. Well, you know, with the running a true 373 versus a 358. And then uh, the reduced weight. Now when we, in our drag setup, we also call it a 28. Um, that again puts me to like a three, a 358. So, we ran a pretty good time for a 3,700-pound car at uh, at a 358-gear ratio. So it went to 11.99. Now you can still hear that caliber fourth gear, 3,000 RPM noise. You feather up a little bit, it goes away. Um, but what it doesn't do, as it did before, it doesn't throw a code. Um, I have not thrown a code since my drive to Detroit the other day, last week. We went looking for Ford F-150s. Um, we also uh, dropped our cylinder heads back off to Livernoy. All right, thanks. Take care, buddy. that was a, a good visit actually um got some free swag got to meet the machine shop guy Dominic which I guess he's world famous great guy and uh, they're working with me on the heads they're gonna get them assembled and uh, I'm, I'm excited about that so of course again they won't get on until next year head back for about 98 miles from uh, home. We have one more stop to make. So we're going to head back that way. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. So pretty impressed with the shop. Impressed with all of the cars they have there. I mean there's over 30 cars. They got a ton of super builds. I uh, got to see the Golf Mustang drag car. 5.4 uh, Ford and Stroke Coyote in it, um, and the Cobra Jet, orange Cobra Jet Mustang, which is the only, apparently, uh, only was one of one car that is uh, signed by, Car or, uh, by Shelby, yeah, it's a Shelby issue. So that's, that's pretty badass. So they would not allow me to videotape just to proprietary things, which is fine. Totally understand. But uh, it was fun going through the shop, man. They had some bad shit in there. 1,400 horsepower Camaro. Crazy horsepower. Crazy horsepower. Um, I'm just a uh, little guy in the totem pole trying to get 600. <laughs> so it is what it is. It's all 
all good. That's a boss Mustang. And uh, that's what I love about it, because of that name alone. And um, they're going to do the final assembly on those. So, by the way, um, if you saw some earlier vids on my heads, I didn't know this, and it's this is ver verified by Ford Racing, I had to call them. I bought the heads bare, and I bought the valves bare. Um, come to find out, um, the valves are already cut, heads are, the seats are already cut, you don't have to do anything, so it's cut to the manufacturer's valve job, which Ford had a quite an intense valve job on uh, those heads. So what we had Livernoy do is they did uh, some bowl work, cleaning up the bowls, and uh, we did increase flow. We'll show that again, uh, maybe in this video, or I'll link you to my other video so you guys can see that flow. Um, but pretty happy about that. So they're setting those heads up with the Ford Racing Boss cams, and we're going again, all stock valves. I didn't want to change yet because anything more, you're going to get a heavier valve. I didn't, I didn't want to mess around with the weight. These valves were built and designed for the car and the harmonics. I left them there. Um, and if you're wondering what they flow, a 500 inch lift, we went from a 310 on the intake to uh, 323. So we picked up, we picked up nicely in the mid range. Um, so again, this car is gonna run really nice when we get that set up. That won't happen until next year. This year, uh, I told my viewers I'm about to getting the bugs out of the car and we started already because it was a nuisance to drive it. I was getting all kinds of codes and uh, now uh, it's, you know, becoming pleasurable again. So yeah, that's what's going on. I know um, we are going to do a dyno as soon as the clutch is broken in and that dyno is going to show the viewers, one, we have a control number know where we were before we're going to the same dyno so on that particular dyno with e85 we want a 448 to the wheel now um, with the new tire setup we'll probably see based on uh, this calculation uh, a ratio that uh, Brensby did. Now he didn't do the ratio, he did the dyno. But his dyno actually has that overage in it. So I may not see what his dyno is going to give back because it was 20 horsepower for 34 uh, pounds of weight reduction off the, off the wheels, the rear wheels. Um, and maybe so, I don't know. If we, if we use that ratio, it's 0.58. So on a 20 pound difference, it's going to be, um, I don't know. Horsepower, it's going to be just over half, 60%. So, yeah, just a hair over 12 horsepower that we should see, and that should get us to 460. And based on the Granatelli uh, Motorsport 65,000 volt, now they also, I'll leave that link in the video. They did a video on an S550 bone stock, and they got uh, 14 or 15 rear wheel horsepower out of that. S550. So, if we see the same results, and we're going to prove that, we should get us at a like 475 rear wheel. That's, you know, that's pretty cool, man. And then, that's closing that gap for us. Guys, I've been over road on this bike. <clears throat> Anyways. We close that gap to get to, uh, we're trying to get 600 on the motor. That's going to be tight. I think we can get to 590. But, uh, and that's of course with the cams and the heads. If we can get there, this car is going to be a badass NA car. I mean, that's going to be just, you know, in my opinion, I'm stoked about it, right? But we, we won't see that till next year. So that's what we got going on, guys. Um, Along with the new Ram 2500, we're going to add to the channel, and um, we'll try and get a little bit on that. Um, I'm really horrible about uh, about uh, you know doing the videos, uh, just barging in and you know asking folks. I, I'm just uncomfortable doing that sometimes. I do. I did when I got into Livernoy, though. By the way, they don't allow video. 
course. And it's only because of pr proprietary uh, things they have. Like they did a hand work job and they're assembling uh, my head so with stock parts. So they have a lot, a big relationship with Ford. They know coyotes very well. And for what they're doing for me, I met the, the, the main guy, Dominic, super cool guy. And then uh, the salesman, Hunter, gave me for a, took me for a tour. And uh, I was really impressed with the horsepower they had sitting out there. So, um, so yeah, that's it. And we'll show a little bit what I can, you know, video. Gosh, I don't there's not much really just me leaving the damn place, but we'll see how it goes. Um, other than that, guys, me and I appreciate um, you new sub subscribers. I just want you to know, you guys got any questions, ask me. My Instagram account is uh, Coyotes North. I got a lot of stuff going there, a lot of pics. Um, all the things that are on my car I usually post it there. You can see my other vehicles there. And then, um, again, if you got questions, hit me up. I am not a high volume producer in videos. Um, I, my plate is full of, uh, you know, just work and, uh, you gotta get a little rust in and just the upkeep of the house and everything is going on. Um, I wish I could spend more time making videos cause I really like doing that, but, um, that's just not going to be possible right now. Um, and I'm trying to balance things with, you know, uh, happy wife, happy life, right? So, we'll leave it at that. Um, Alright guys, um, again, yeah, rough ride, man. Again, uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining and uh, thanks for, uh, you know, subscribing and I appreciate your support, guys. Um, have a great day and take care.